Hello Gracies, welcome back to my channel. So it's me ma'am and again if you new in my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it if you have a new upload videos. Okay, so today um part 3 na po ng Science 6 week 3. So yung first part natin is about the digestive system. The part 2 is the excretory with the nervous system. And the last part of the week 3 lesson about the respiratory system. So, okay, madali lang tong respiratory system and like dun sa part 2. Okay, so let's proceed na po and then, okay, so now, when is a respiratory system plays a vital role in the human body? So, important siya, meron siyang, uh, trabaho na importante din. So, same as sa lahat ng body systems natin, lahat po sila ay importante sa atin. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the major parts of the respiratory system. So, again, at the end of this lesson, kailangan mo makilala yung parts ng respiratory system just like the other lesson, previous lesson natin identify, describe, and explain the function. So, after this, you have an activity naman uh, aside from the answering your learning test, meron pa kayong activity na gagawin about the respiratory system. So, napakadali lang yung activity nyo is gagawa lang kayo na charot. Uh, tingnan nyo yung picture na gagayahan nyo, yung ano lang, yung paper bag, and then straw, uh, rubber band. Hihinga lang kayo, extend and exhale lang. So, drawing na kayo ng dalawang lungs, ganun, madali lang. So, yun lang. So, here, um, now, you have to identify the major parts and explain the function of the respiratory system. So, yan, kailangan nyo yan, um, explain kung ano ang function ni respiratory system in our body. So, proceed. So, what is respiratory system? So, the respiratory system is an equally uh, important system of the body that we cannot live without. So, just like in any, just what I said earlier, just like any other system, pag nawala yung ibang system na yun, mamatay tayo. But, this respiratory system, siya talaga yung responsible in our breathing Yan na po yan. Kailangan talaga, talaga natin huminga. Okay, so, kasi pag dun sa reproductive system, pwede naman siyang tanggalin yung iba, pero ito yung talaga yung paghinga natin, hindi siya, mabi, hindi siya malalagyan ng artificial organs. Kailangan talagang meron. Kung meron lang, lang cancer, transplant ng ano, kukunin mo yung lang sa ibang tao, tapos ilagay sa lang sa body mo. So, again, yun yung transplant kung mayaman ka. So, number one, so, there are four. There are four na uh, function ni respiratory system in our body. So, first, it is a system which takes charge of our breathing process. Yung inhale, exhale, yung paghinga, tapos pag ganun, Yan po yun, sa respiratory system. Number two, it is made up of several organs which is responsible for gas exchange in the body. So, ito, ito na po yun. Responsible siya sa pag ano ng, uh, we intake oxygen but we exhale carbon dioxide. Okay, so, the or, number three, the organs help for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide from the body. So, <laughs> sinabi ko na sa number 2. So, yan po, madali lang naman siya. And number 4, it is made up of several parts without different function, namely. So, yun po, bakit ang kati ng ilong? Ah, advertisement na. Okay, so the first, na, na sa ating respiratory system. Okay, kapag walang ilong tayo, ito'y makakahinga. So, pwede naman makahinga through our mouth. Pero, iba talaga yung sa nose. Okay. One part in our, first part in our respiratory system is our nose. And the nose is an organ of the respiratory system found 
protrude, uh, protruding between the, our eyes. And it is the part where the air that we inhale enters and carries out the air that we exhale. So, yan po yung uh, ilong natin. Trabaho niya. Simot na mga mabuwag. Bangong luto. <laughs> hmm, so, bango. Mga ganon. <laughs> inhale ng oxygen and then mag-exhale ng carbon dioxide. So, yun. Madali lang. Hindi na natin siya patagalin dyan. Next, nasal cavity. Ang nasal cavity niyan din, din siya sa ating lung. So, it is the part found inside the nose. So, it is also lined with mucous membrane that helps keep the no nose moist. Yung parang, ito yung inisiswab ngayon. Nakatry na kayo mag-swab test. Charot. Siya po yung tinutusok-tusok. Siya yung nasa nasal cavity natin. Para siya yung nagme-maintain ng parang basa-basa sa loob ng ating nose. So, it is also lined with a hair-like structure called cilia. Okay, ang pangalan ng buhok ng, sa ating ilong, ito po ay tinatawag na cilia. Hindi si cilia na si cilia, yung nangungutang, charot. Hindi. Ang tawag po sa buhok na nandito sa ating ilong ay si cilia. So, which helps trap dirt entering the nose. So, ang um, ating buhok, meron din siyang function dyan, yung buhok sa ating ilong. Siya yung nagtatrap ng mga lahat ng mga dumi, bacteria, and everything sa ating mga ilong. Just like ngayon, nangangati yung ilong ko. So, feeling ko may mga bacteria na sa, na sa buhok. So, kailangan tanggalin. So, yan po, yan po ang trabaho ni Celia. Siya yung nagtatrap, nagtatrap, nagtatrap ng mga um, harmful uh, harmful bacteria. And, kailangan din siya matakpan ngayon dahil sa pandemic. Kasi, pagpapasok ang virus dyan, papasok sa ating lungs, sa respiratory system natin, tapos tigok. Okay, so the third mouth, so from the digestive system, meron din sa respiratory system, si mouth. It is a hollow cavity that allows food and air to enter the body. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, kung na wala kang ilong, pwede ka naman huminga sa ating mouth. Diba, kapag na sobrang sipon, sipon tayo, tapos nababara na yung ilong natin, Hindi na tayo makahinga through our nose, but we use our mouth to breathe. Okay, the fourth is our throat or the pharynx. So, it is a muscular tube that runs from the back at your nose down into your neck. It is the passageway of the air entering the nasal cavity for the esophagus and larynx. So, siya yung ang trabaho niya throat. Pero ito, pag masakit yan, sobrang uh, may bacteria ka na sa dito sa mouth nyo, bababa siya sa throat, kaya magkakaroon ka ng sore throat. Okay. So, siya po yung daanan ng hangin papunta sa esophagus, din sa larynx natin. Siya yung uh, responsible for that. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung si pharynx at si larynx, magkapatid kasi may angst. Chang! Charot. Okay, sa voice box or the larynx. So, the larynx it serves as the passageway of air between the pharynx above and the trachea below. It plays an essential role to human speech. Uh, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina sa digestive system. Okay. Kapag um, nas, uh, magkatabi lang sila, bit, uh, air between the pharynx and the larynx. Okay. So, and uh, ang sa baba nito ay trachea. Yung trachea. Para siyang connected. Basta. Basta yun na yun. Basta nasa ano lang siya ng larynx kapag nas, uh, ito yung nag open and air ganun sa ating bosses yan at tapos yung sa mga singer yan talaga ang ano sa mga oh, yung mga high note ganun siya yung responsible for this uh, speech na, na yan mga bosses natin si larynx po number 6 windpipe or the trachea so, it is a tube that is about 4 inches long. It is found just under the larynx or the voice box and then divides into two smaller tubes called bronchi. Okay, si windpipe, uh, parang uh, tobo siya na ano, tapos, pag, tapos nasa, na-divide siya into two. Kaya uh, bronchi, bronchi. Naganan siya dun sa ating lungs. So, makikita nyo yan sa inyong mga activity. Walang drawing, no? Okay, so yung um, mag-insert ako ng link na animation for this lungs uh, and, uh, respiratory system 
you must click that link para malaman niyo yung animation nung nitong parts of the respiratory system kung malalaman niyo kung saan yung windpipe, trunkayan, bronchi. So, yun po yun yung okay, so yun yung may lungs dyan, tapos may dalawang tube, bronchi po bago siya maging lungs, ganon. And then, number eight, the bronchioles. These are passages that branch off the bronchi. These are tubes that holds the air sacs or the alveoli. So, siya po yung uh, maniliit siya ng mga uh, tubes na siya yung humahawak ng air sacs na kapag huminga tayo, lumalaki din siya, then pag nag-exhale, lumiliit. The nine, the air sacs or the alveoli, these are the tiny sacs inside the lungs. So, hindi, uh, oh yan, maliliit siya na mga bag na nasa loob ng ating lungs. So, it is the part where the exchange of gases takes place. It is the part where oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is carried out. See, ang responsible for that function, si alveoli. Siya yung nag-accept nag ng ox oxygen from the outside world, from the plants, then, siya din po yung responsible para i-release or eliminate si carbon dioxide inside our lungs. So, po yun. So, number 10, si lungs. These are pair of spongy air-filled organ located either side of the chest or thorax. So, ito po yung sa lungs natin. Dito, 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 sa backbone. Okay, so, para siyang kung ano siya, para siyang air sac, kapag yun ang lumulobo, parang uh, plastic siya, kapag hinihipan, lumalaki, pag, pag nawala yung hangin, lumiliit. Ganun po yung explanation nun. Pero gagawa kayo nun, kaya malalaman nyo rin yun. Okay, 11, diaphragm. Ang diaphragm is nasa dito sa ating bandang sa baba ng ating lungs. So, it is a thin uh, skeletal muscle that sits at the base of the chest and separates the abdomen from the chest. It is contract and flatten when you inhale. So, uh, magpo-flat siya kapag ikaw ay nahinga. Okay, so, nahinga na inhale. So, it, it creates a vacuum effect that, that pulls air into the lungs. Then, it relaxes when you exhale. So, Magre-relax siya kapag uh, nawala na yung carbon dioxide sa loob ng body nyo. So, in your learning test 1, so, match, matching type. So, you have to write the letters in your answer sheets. And then, learning test 2, uh, study the picture of the respiratory system below level. Okay, so, ito yung, uh, hindi ko pa na i-include. Kasi tatawagin ko lang kayo for this assessment. And list down activities that what you observe at home that shows the value or use of respiratory system. Write this in your notebook. So, wow! Tapos na tayo sa week 3. So, thank you for watching. And if you have any question, violent reaction, suggestion, and any recommendation, don't forget to comment your...